pulse right now. Uh, one being selenium. Selenium is known as an antioxidant mineral. If you don't get enough selenium, there are a whole list of diseases you can get. Cataracts are very common in older people. And uh, one of the things that can cause cataracts are deficiency in selenium. So uh, just three Brazil nuts a day can give you your RDA selenium. If you have a nut allergy, look for food-based supplements like this one. It says 100% whole food. It's not synthetic. So this type of uh, selenium supplement would work really well. And uh, scientific research shows that selenium compounds are unstable in heat. So you're not going to get it out of cooked foods. Our body won't utilize that selenium. Now, zinc is also extremely important for the human body. I mentioned those metabolic enzymes work with vitamins and minerals in these chain reactions. And if we don't have zinc, there are at least 200 known enzyme chain reactions that will not occur in our body. Um, if you're a man, you can end up with prostate cancer. It's one of the things that's known to cause prostate cancer. If uh, it's a child, the child will fail to thrive. They'll, they'll stay small when the other children are growing larger. If you get uh, colds and flus and whatever's going around, well, a weak immune system uh, can be caused by not getting enough zinc. The list is very long. So uh, some research also shows that zinc isn't readily <laughs> utilizable when it's in food that has been cooked. So raw pumpkin seeds are an excellent source of zinc. I try to take a little handful of um, raw pumpkin seeds on a regular basis. And once again, if you're uh, allergic to nuts and seeds, here's a really good uh, whole food zinc supplement. You can find them in the health food stores too. Mega Food is a brand that has whole food supplements. New Chapter is really good. Those lines are available in most health food stores and whole foods. So if we don't get enough of these very important minerals, our body will look for, grab onto, and store up other toxic minerals that look similar under a microscope to try to fit in that enzyme chain reaction. So for instance, if we're not getting enough zinc, our body will grab onto cadmium. Cadmium is a very toxic mineral that can cause many different types of diseases in people. If you've ever been exposed to tobacco smoke, even secondhand tobacco smoke, and you didn't have enough zinc in your body, your body may have stored up that cadmium, and it may be causing symptoms. If you go to your doctor with those symptoms, I can guarantee you, you can read those symptoms right out of a medical database, all the symptoms of a heavy metal toxicity, read them to your doctor, and I've never heard of anyone's doctor, unless they were holistic, checking them for heavy metals. They'll just write a prescription that will try to take away the symptoms. And by the way, how do most of these prescription drugs work to take away symptoms? They knock out enzymes in an enzyme chain reaction that allows you to experience a symptom. And when you knock out that one enzyme, the symptom might go away, but you also knock out many other enzymes in the body. So you'll experience new symptoms. And that's why many people, when they go on one pharmaceutical drug, after a while, some people it's very soon after, they're back at the doctors with some other symptom, and now they're being prescribed another drug to take away that symptom. And that drug, of course, knocks out more enzymes that cause more symptoms in the body, and you end up a mess after a while on all these drugs. So I'm not saying that all prescription drugs are bad. There's definitely a place for them, but the problem is that they're overused, and they're often used instead of nutritional therapies or um, heavy metal removal or environmental factors that might cause. There's, there's many different causes. And sometimes all these things together can cause the problem. It's a little bit difficult to figure out for many people, but be patient. If you have some type of a problem like that, don't stop at the first holistic practitioner or the second. Keep going. You'll eventually find what you're looking for. It takes a, a lot of research. Not, there's not one person out there who has the answer for everything. So uh, as far as selenium goes, if we don't have enough selenium in our body, the body will grab and hold on to mercury. Many of us have these silver fillings in our mouth, and the silver fillings are about half mercury. 
the Food and Drug Administration here in the United States in 2011 came out and said, we take back our last statement saying that these silver or amalgam fillings are safe. And they're now saying that they do leach and they can be unsafe. So many countries around the world have phased out or are in the process of phasing out these silver fillings. And unfortunately, many people are walking around with these silver fillings in their mouth. The mercury vapors are leaching out, it's causing them symptoms, and they have no idea that these mercury vapors are causing their symptoms. And their doctors don't know either, because they graduated 10, 20, 30 years ago, and they're just not up on the current research. So it's important that you know if you want to see the proof about these silver fillings leaching, you can go to my website, which is simply the name of my book, rawfoodsbible.com, and you can click on the mineral analysis page, and you can see some YouTube videos done uh, by the University of Calgary showing one of these silver fillings when they gently uh, rub it, uh, which simulates chewing, all this mercury vapor coming off as if I had a candle and I blew it out. You see all the smoke come off the candle. They also have a YouTube video that has many Petri dishes lined up. And the Petri dishes have brain cells. And brain cells are known as neurons. And neurons have these little tentacles that come out of them known as neuric processes. And when mercury comes in contact with these neuric processes, the sheath, it's like a myelin sheath, it just falls right apart. And they didn't find any other mineral or heavy metal capable of doing that with all these petri dishes and the experiments except for mercury. Mm -hmm. So what happens then is these brain cells are unable to communicate with each other. And uh, think about it. Alzheimer's, senile dementia, forgetfulness in old age. Now how does the body detox all these different chemicals, including heavy metals? It's done in the liver with the use of metabolic enzymes. When we run low on metabolic enzymes in our old age, the body can't continually detoxify this mercury. It gets kicked back in the bloodstream, goes up, passes the blood-brain barrier, goes into the brain, and melts the sheaths off the neural processes, and we end up getting these different symptoms. So if you have the silver fillings in your mouth right now, there are several things you can do. One of them is you can eat cilantro. Cilantro will help chelate mercury out of the body. There's also a dark green algae called chlorella, which is available in health food stores around the country, and I would suggest eating that. And then eventually you might want to get those silver fillings replaced, like I did back in the uh, mid-90s with some other type of filling that won't leach. And when I did that, the dentist drilled out the fillings, chunks of mercury fell in my mouth, and I ended up with mercury toxicity from it. What I found out is that holistic dentists use a dental dam. It's a plastic bag that catches the particles of mercury. And they should also use a respirator so you don't breathe in the fumes. There are many people who find it too expensive to get it done here in the United States. So they go to Mexico or Thailand or Hungary, where you can actually fly there, stay in a hotel, get the work done, fly back for less than it would cost to do it here in the United States and get it done equally as well, if not better. Okay, let's talk about protein and the great protein myth. So, there's a word.